Good morning, friends. It's Bob again, and we're in this reflection on the squirm of obedience versus the the uh, blessing of obedience. And the Lord is prompting you and I to obey Him and to uh, to not just sit calm and not just like oh okay and you know I don't smoke, I don't do uh, you know I don't chew, I don't go with girls who do. That's not the that's not the idea of obedience. It is this idea that I am turning back to God and I'm cooperating knowing that he knows what is best for me. He knows what's best for you. He does. He loves you. He knows what's best for you. But he'll call us into obedience in all kinds of different arenas. And today what I want to talk to you about is the obedience of opening up. That what ends up happening is the Spirit will prompt us to let down our guard and to share. And we might just really just backpedal all over the place and say, I can't do that. I've been hurt before. I have been, I've had people that have actually used these things against me. There's all kinds of different things that will end up happening when we are trying to squirm away from and stall and and, and cooperate with the hesitancy to obey God in that. But the Spirit will actually lead us with people that are trustworthy to let down our guard, to be known. So in your house church or with your spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend, the Lord might say, I want you to open up about what is actually going on in your heart. I This is part of the reason why I have really good and close relationships with my kids is that from time to time the Spirit you know, it just would prompt me, I want you to open up about what's going on inside of you with your kids. And it's like, but they might not respect me if I do that. But actually in opening up to them, as the Lord called me to do that, as the Lord asked me in, and invited me into that, as I did, my relationship with them just blossomed and bloomed. Now they're not perfect, but they're really good really good. And if you want good and deep and solid relationships with people, you're going to have to open up and the Spirit will prompt you at different points in time. You'll be sitting over coffee with somebody and the Lord will say, hey, would you just, why don't you just open up and share what's going on inside of you in this? That kind of thought process will come through you. It's the Holy Spirit doing it and you'll just go, no, no, I couldn't. They might use that against me. They might not understand. They might all of the different things that the human soul does to protect itself. But the Lord is calling you and I to have some people in our lives that we are truly open books to and that we experience this beautiful oneness with. And by doing so, the kingdom of heaven has come to earth in those relationships. It's rich beyond anything that we know, but God will take us by the hand and lead us into this land that we don't know about yet. Is God calling you to, to obey him by opening up your heart to somebody? Especially if you're not doing that with your spouse. You need to be doing that with your spouse. Let's open up when the Holy Spirit leads us. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me. God bless you.